Hey guys, what is up? So we are currently on the way, or going to be on the way. We're going to Playland. I'm not going to bring the camera with me, obviously, because I'm not going to look a camera around to an amusement park. But if you guys didn't know, Playland is like an amusement park in Vancouver. So that is what we're doing. We're going for like the night session. So it's like 6 o'clock to 11 p.m., which is really cool. I feel like the temperature is going to be perfect. It's going to be some late night vibes. And hopefully we catch a nice sunset. But yeah, I'm just going to switch over to vlogging on my phone and I'm just going to capture as much as I can. But yeah, it's going to be a fun time. Hey guys, we're currently in the lineup. The lineup is so long. So we are seeing this many people, but protocols have lifted. Last time we were here, no, not last time, but me and Joel literally went on that ride. I don't know why. I don't know how he convinced me. It was so scary. I forget what happened. I think I got numb. Something got numb on me. I remember watching. I, no, I remember you told like some sort of story about it. They don't give out water here, so we're going to McDonald's. Well, they do, and they charge you five dollars, literally. It's like five dollars for a bottled water, and they don't give out like cups of water. And McDonald's is literally like right there, so we're just gonna drive there. <laughs> I'm getting a haircut by Madison today. I'm taking a couple inches off because my hair is so dead at the ends because I still have like the blonde dye, if that makes sense. Okay, we're going for it. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so scared. Wait, just just bear You're so dramatic. Ooh. <gasps> Ew, let me hold it. Ew, bye, ratchet dead ends. They were so dead. Basically, the dye in my hair from when I dyed it blonde is still growing out. It's like at the tips now, like just the bottom of my hair. So I'm just trying to get like grow it out completely. So that's why I'm doing a nice cut. The last time I got my hair cut, it was by Sophia, who's a hairdresser. It was like a year ago now, maybe a little less than a year ago. I'm over exaggerating. Mm. It was before Christmas. I just bought a pair of hair scissors and get Madison to do it every so now and often. Just because since I cut a straight line in my hair anyways, like I don't do anything fancy, but if I ever wanted to get like something fancy, obviously I would go to a hairdresser. I'm just cutting in a straight line, so I don't really care. Oh no, that's perfect. Oh, so much more healthy. I'm literally gonna go get a measuring tape because I want to measure this. But first, I'm gonna apply Olaplex to my hair. This is the one that I use. It's really good. I really like it. It makes my hair so smooth. Oh, my hair feels so good. Okay, we're gonna measure my hair right now. How much we cut? You look so gross. Ew. We cut. Oh my god, three inches. Madison, we cut three inches off. Hey guys, so here is my official haircut. Um, it's so much healthier. Like, look at those thick ass ends. Feels so much better. It's not even that much shorter. Like, I cut off three inches, but it feels fine like it's not even that much shorter and it just it's it was a well healthy needed trim anyway so it is currently around six o'clock right now and me madison julia and joel are going to go to the beach and just chill watch the sunset have a good time because it is saturday night so we want to do something and the weather is just been beautiful so we're gonna go do that i've been just feeling today so weird energetically like i feel like something is happening right now because i've just been feeling so energetically weird and so weird very connected but so weird if you guys are spiritual and believe in like the universe and the connection i've just been seeing 111 a lot and i don't really talk about angel numbers on my channel a lot because i know that's just so cliche but 
I've been seeing 111 a crazy weird amount of times, like weirdly crazy. And I've just been feeling really energetically weird. So I think that those two things definitely correlate together. And I'm not exactly sure what the meaning of is of it is yet but you know i'm just gonna keep doing what i'm doing and follow my intuition follow what's making me happy right now and yeah that got really deep for a second there but anyways this is my fit for the day i'm just wearing these sweatpants they're really light they're from white fox and they're really light like they don't really have any like um wool in them so they're very cool and then i'm just wearing this little crop top sports bra thingy majang that's literally my favorite thing just to throw on and yeah i'm just gonna go out like this with a little bag and a sweater probably my hair just literally feels so good whenever you cut your hair like getting a fresh haircut is just the best feeling also my mirror is like really dirty so ew i'm sorry about that i should clean this because i vlog in it a lot but anyways don't mind that and then we have this bean oh my god she's so beautiful i love her so much you guys, look at what she does to my sheets. She's literally like ripped my sheets, if you can see. Here, she's ripped them. Like, I'm not mad at all, but it's just because like when she jumps up, she kind of claws on my sheets a little bit. And it's so cute. I'm not mad at all. I didn't know what to have for dinner today because there wasn't much selection in my house. So I was like, when in doubt, guacamole it out. So I literally had chips and guac for dinner, which is actually really feeling because avocados are filling. Me and Julia made guacamole at my house the other day and literally had that for dinner. So I was like, I can just do that again because it's very filling because you're literally eating chips, which are so filling and avocado, which is so filling. So it was good. What'd you get? Like it rides the bike. Cappuccino. Like the the Cappuccino. Lady. I got a chicken or a cod one piece. What flavor? Is it good? So good. Mango. I got a cup because I just wasn't feeling the cone today. And sometimes I feel like fruit ice cream doesn't go good with the cone. So oh, yeah. I just kind of weird. Right? With fruit. Yeah. So it's like I don't know. currently around 11 ish just past 11 so when we were at the beach watching the sunset we got ice cream and i just wanted to tell this story because it's just like so amazing how people can be so nice we were about to walk in the ice cream shop me julia and madison and they just had turned the sign to close and we were like oh shoot like we can't go in anymore so we were just waiting outside and we were like can we go in can we not because we still saw saw people walking around in there then like this lady came up and it was just like this lady and this man and they were a couple and they were like oh let's just pretend to be like a family like let one more family in and we were just all joking around anyways they like let us in to grab like the last batch of ice cream or whatever they let us in then the lady ended up giving us money to put towards our ice cream and it was just so cute that was just the literally the nicest thing ever and it just goes to show that like just by doing a small nice deed it can change somebody's day like it can turn somebody's day around even if you give someone the smallest compliment it can really turn someone's day around even though it might not be a big deal for you to go out of your way and give somebody a compliment or do something nice for them to them it might mean the world to them and maybe even save them so if you guys ever are in the opportunity to compliment someone who's looking a little down do it because you never know how it's going to impact somebody and how it's going to touch them you got to see the love and the greatness that still remains in humanity because nowadays we're surrounded by the news and the media that just portrays the bad things and that's why i hate watching the news because it's just pretty much all information that's gonna scare you or stuff that you don't want to hear very negative and scary you got to realize that there is still there is still hope for humanity and there's still 
amazing, beautiful souls out there who truly mean well and who are genuine. The world is not a horrible place. There's too many good people in the world for the world to be a horrible place. I hate when people say that the world is horrible. Yes, there are aspects of the world that are horrible and evil, but not all of the world is horrible or evil. There's just too many amazing people in the world. If you guys watched my video last month, I want to start doing a monthly reflection every month. I just realized that it's a couple days into July and I haven't done it yet. And I was like, oh my God, my monthly reflection. Cause this is like new to me. Like it's my first time really doing like a monthly reflection. So I guess I just forgot about it kind of. So I'm really excited to look back on my goals today and reflect on them. So I'm gonna like tell you guys some of my goals. We're gonna talk about them. Yeah, just to let you guys in a little bit on my life and what I've accomplished because it's okay not to accomplish everything and it's okay to have stuff that you need to work on. Obviously, I'm not gonna tell you guys what all my goals were, but I will touch on some. So one of my goals was to reach 30,000 subscribers. We're not there yet, we are close. Um, I'm at like 27 point something right now. So honestly, really close and I'm really proud of myself for that amount of subscribers and I'm so grateful for what I have. Am I mad that I didn't hit it? Not at all. I'm very proud of myself. Um, another one of my goals was to start posting on Instagram more often and I have done that. I did do that this month. I've been posting a lot of my stories. I've been posting more feed posts than usual so go follow me on Instagram because I'm keeping everyone updated now on my stories and everything. Another one of my goals was to journal more and I guess I have been journaling more because I did get the five minute journal so I have been doing that every single day. Another one of my goals was less social media and more reading. I did do a lot of reading this month, but not as much as I would have liked to. So going forward into next month, I definitely want to make reading a priority over social media and focus more on that because I did do that this month, but not to the full potential that I wanted to do it. You know what I mean? And another one of my goals was write down daily gratitude, which in my five minute journal, that's what I do every single day. So accomplish that one. And yeah, so those are just some of my goals. I'm going to do some reflection questions now if you guys want to go watch the vlog that I like did this in and I like shared more of the questions that I was writing I'll link it down below for you guys so you guys can check that out if you're confused on what I'm talking about but yeah this is actually really cool to look back on my month and kind of reflect on what I could be doing better and I should have started doing this like a lot sooner because this is like super cool just to see like my progress it honestly feels like so long ago that I wrote these goals down it feels like so long ago but at the same time thinking back to June it feels like just yesterday but it feels like so long ago that I wrote these goals down which is really weird it's funny how time works like sometimes I just don't get it I just wrote down new goals for the next month. I feel like it's gonna be cool to see like what my goals were each month, like looking back on this in like a year from now, if that makes sense. I feel like it's just kind of even a cool time capsule to have everything written down like that. Cause I've always wanted to be like a journaler and like journal every day, but Honestly, sometimes it's just hard for me to like sit down and journal every day That's why I found like the five minute journal so perfect It's just because it was so easy and already like laid out for me But yeah, I just really encourage you guys to do this as well And let me know if you did do it last month with me and if you liked it and if you're gonna do it again this month Yeah, I really encourage you guys to do it because it just feels so amazing and also like reward yourself for your accomplishments You know what I mean? Even if it's just the smallest accomplishment that you've made if you ticked off one box of your goals Reward yourself because you deserve it and you deserve to recognize yourself and your accomplishments but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video i'm gonna end it off here because i'm tired i need to go to bed i hope you guys have the most amazing day or week wherever you're at and yeah i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video peace out